All right, let's get going on problem number 12. Jumpin' Frog Jubilee. It says your first job is to make a graphical representation of the data. Many statisticians say the first and most important step in analyzing any data is to make a graphical representation or a graph. How can a representation help you analyze the data? Um, so it, it goes on to say, you know, if you want to create it, use this eTool link, you're welcome to do that. I've already gone ahead and created these two histograms. Um, and it asks us, why is a histogram a good choice? Well, if you can recall, like, what are some other options for displaying data? Um, one that initially jumps to mind is a dot plot. And I'm just going to sketch a dot plot real quick for you. This is just part of it. It's not the whole thing. Um, but what does this look like to you? Well, to me, it looks like a, a line with a bunch of dots on it. And it's not super helpful because the numbers or the data points are so far apart. It would have to be, you know, there'd have to be a lot of repeating data entries or the data would have to be closer together. So in this case, a dot plot wouldn't be that helpful. Um, so we go back to the question, why is a histogram a good choice? Well, probably one of the first things that jumps to mind for me is that it's easy to see connections and patterns in the data. Um, for example, you can see the shape and the spread. If you're looking at the year 2008, I would say, hey, that data is really close together, or you know, it's closer together than, than the year 2009. It's pretty balanced, or you could also call it symmetrical. The year 2009, it looks like it has two different outliers. It looks like there's an outlier down here at this data set. And it looks like there's also an outlier at the upper end of the data set. So it's, you know, those graphs are great to see those connections. Moving on to letter B. It says, what was more obvious when you looked at the histograms compared to looking at the list of data? Is there information that is easier to see on the histograms? Well, um, I know that in 2008, as mentioned before, it's, you know, looks pretty balanced or symmetrical. If you were to cut, that means if you were to cut it in half, the left half of the data would look very similar to the right half. And for 2009, as we talked about before, um, it's out. There are, you know, two outliers, one low and then one high. And if you're looking at the data, it's not for me, it's not as easy to see, oh yeah, this, this data set has an outliers, has two different outliers, and this data set doesn't. Um, that's the beauty of a graph. Letter C says, um, the tech tool shows the mean and the median of the data below the histogram. So right here and right here. However, if the mean and median were not labeled, would there be a way to determine the median or the mean from the histogram alone and then explain? If you haven't yet written down your answer, pause the video and write down your answer. If you have, the answer is no. You cannot find the mean or the median just by looking at the histogram because you need data points. The mean, you have to know what each data point is in order to add it up and divide by how many numbers there are. And the median, you need to know each data point in order to find the very center. So the answer is no.